Hey everyone, for today's episode of Here in My Studio, I thought I'd show you my uh, art studio and I'm going to show you a painting that I'm going to do for this long, long one. I've been doing quite a few today already. So <clears throat> I'm just going to talk with you through what I do with this flow art, how I do it, and use this as an example. Hopefully it'll work out. So firstly I've put all the tarps down in the studio and covered everything so that no paint will get everywhere. I have this on a little spinner, which we won't really need to use much for this. Um, for this particular job, I'm not going to use a spinner much, but I do have it on a spinner. Um, firstly, what we want to do is just use some of the... It's, this is slightly mixed, or you can just use paint that hasn't been mixed much. This is a much thicker paint, just to cover the edges. So, I'm just going to have this is going to be white. There'll be this is going to be purples. This really nice hot pink that I have. Um, so this style of art is called flow art. Sometimes people call it acrylic or paint pouring, and um, sorts of different ways of doing it. But I have my own little way that I've devised over a couple of years that I've been doing this now. Um, I kind of started doing it when. Had the COVID time and at home a little bit more, and I was just watching a lot of TikToks and I started seeing other people do this stuff. So, um, actually, learned how to do it just from watching some YouTube channels. So, what we're going to need is um, the paint already mixed, which, which most of it has been mixed. I'm just going to have to mix up. Normally I do this by exactly measuring it out, but um, in this case, I just ran out of room in this container. I just got a bit too thick, so I just need to just thin it down a little bit more. So I use two different kinds of pouring mediums. One is PVA glue mixed with water. So this is 30, uh, sorry, 300 mils PVA glue, 200 mils water the mixture. Sometimes for the base mix I actually use the opposite of that, so 200 mils PVA and 100 mils water, depending on how thick the original thing is. So I can tell how this is by how it sounds. Actually. So this is just the white base. pouring medium. The second pouring medium I use is Floetrol. Floetrol. And this is a big Floetrol that I have. And I would mix this 30 mils of Floetrol with 10 mils of liquid, liquid paint. Actually, it's kind of liquid. So I use Holcroft for these brands. I also use this one, Araldo paint. I've got nerds out there that want to know the brands because that does make a difference. I've got this Byron for the fluoro pink so I'm going to be using that and that really makes it pop like that'll pop that'll really pop out. Um, I used to have it in this mix which was great the, the um, whole crop but they've stopped so the bright pink one so I just have to, have to change that one. And usually what I'll do is half paint, half pouring medium. Again, I'm using the PVA glue mix that I've said before. Um, and depending on, so usually with my paints, it's half and half, but with that particular Byron one, it's a very thick paint. So, yes, now this is starting the what's called the paint, paint puddle. Um, because this is a longer, Stretch that out a little bit and so they call it they call it a paint pillow. So I'll just call it a puddle paint. And 
pretty much you want the whole canvas to be covered with some kind of paint. I just do these edges with that thicker paint to make sure that they really get covered because the edges for this design are not going to be, there's going to be more white than um, colour. Like it's going to be, I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. Sometimes people use a hairdryer to spread it out. Sometimes I just use my hands to spread it out. I just kind of want it to make sure it's all covered for this way that I do it. This is my own style that I design it. I try to copy other people's styles to do certain ways that I want to do, and it sometimes don't, don't really work out how I'd like them to. So I'm going to try one way, which is going to be like a sort of a, a flow. But I want to have some cells kind of popping out as well. So I'm going to do this sort of, it's going to be a line sort of, I'll probably just draw it out now. It'll be something like that, huh? some kind of flow. But I also want to have these like little cell pops. So I'm going to try this other way. And how you do that is you make this like a puddle, puddle pouring thing. So I'm going to have, um, particularly where this, where this pops out, there might be sort of a pop there. Um, the wall's very sticky because of all the stuff I've been doing. So we've got some, we have a dark one on the bottom. And I also use silicone oil in my paint. I've used one or two drops in a cup. Uh, like as in a whole cup will be three drops. And what we want to do is have a little the one here. Some of this. You need to alternate the dark with the light so you get the it gives you like rings around the cells. So a tiny tiny bit of blue. You really need to see a lot of blue here. And you can never exactly be sure exactly what's going to pop out. You just can't, you just can't know. So then the, the cell activators, this is the flow troll. And this is going to be, I'm going to use this, um, like a, a sparkly black. Just put a little bit of that cell activator in there. And for this particular method, I'm going to use, you have to pop, Part loaded up with heaps of white on this side, and then we're going to try to blow that right over the edge of it in one quick way. That's, that's, and then we'll see what pops out. So I'll show you this way. It's not exactly how we wanted it, it's going to still going to be good. Oh, oops. Cover that up because we want it to out there and then we need this thing drop that jelly drop down the floor and we'll torch and we'll just torch this and see what pops out if this sort of messes up which it sort of has without even starting it Some to come out of here. Come out of hiding. So we usually just pop right out, but this method hasn't exactly worked here. What I was hoping to do. Which is fine, you just have to test it out, see what will happen. Um, 
um, we could try to spin it out, but I've just run out of room here on this desk. I need to move some of these paints. Because I have a feeling I'm going to ditch this. It's too much white, and it's not. It's, it, normally, they just pop right out of there. So we'll just oh, we'll just ditch this. And normally, when I'm making this stuff, I have like the ditching cup, which is like just this is what this one is. This is a, an assortment of oh, different ones there. So I'll just scrape this all off. Because I have this other idea, it's kind of important that I get rid of all this colour because I want it to be pure. White on the bottom. This will just be mixed up, and you know, we've got to just be used for something else. So I'll put that to the side. We need a lot of cloths with this stuff to get to create quite a bit of mess. <clears throat> so I'm going to start again with that idea now. We won't do that little idea that I was thinking about. So I'll just get the white back again. make this the pattern area anyway here so it'll be fine. So it's gonna sort of go have a flow so it's sort of short. Just sort of envisage it. I'm going to draw it in here. So now I'm going to make that the, the feature there. So we need a, a nice big layer of white. Um, ooh, okay. So the next thing is to layer up the colours one by one along that line. So that sort of a thing. And there's going to be quite a lot of layering here and different thicknesses of, of the layering. So you can pour it with your cup or you can string it out and it's actually better if it's right on top of each other. I tend to just have some stopping and starting there sometimes. This one here. Um, had another one of like this. Now this is a flow troll, flow troll one. So this is a cell activator, and this will probably be actually those two will be last, last in the mix. Might just do a little bit more of this. Maybe just in some parts, and when you've got a dark canvas, you need a lot of bright or white. When you've got a, a light one, you need quite a bit of the dark, otherwise it doesn't pop out. So kind of have to. Have 
this in some the difference there. Another colour that we can add into this is the metallics. I've already used some of these pigments Whoops. in making um, these are powdered pigments in mixing up some of the colours. So I use some of this powdered pigment in mixing the one we're going to use for the cell activator. And a lot of the paints I use already have metallic in them. But this is the one that pops. Where is it? Oh, here we go. So this Monty Mart. Um, and this is a pre-mixed kind of gold. And this is, this is gold. This is very amazing. Look at that. And then that pops out. That is just, man, that just shines. Shines like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so good. So we just have that. We kind of want that on the top layer because we don't want that to be lost. Although it can, it can, they can obviously can pop out from the bottom. We need a little bit more to sort of layer the white either, either side of this so because this will spread out as, as it goes, right? It's kind of just going to spread, spread out. Keeping that nice and thick each side because we're going to use a hairdryer in a minute to blow it out. So it has to blow out onto the surface that's got a lot of paint on it, like into the paint pillow. Otherwise it's not going to look good. So this, there, a lot of people when they start doing this, me included, try to use less paint than other people do. Because you think, oh, I'll we'll save money, I'll save paint, but it just doesn't work out, doesn't turn out good. And then you're just crying. So you might as well just use the paint and there's ways to well, minimise the paint wastage. Uh, which is like what I did before. I scooped it all into a cup to save it and reuse it for something else. You can try that. Anyway, we're going to now use the cell activator. So that's this one here. And I've also got a black. So this sort of, it's a slight bit of a grey bit of a grey black. Now it's not going to be on all of it. It's going to be smudged along some ways. It can be, it could be a little bit of a swiping. And most of it's going to be this purple one here. Over it. Again, some black there. I think we'll have some black here. And perhaps a little bit of the black sort of thing down this way. Alright, so you see how the black just looks awesome already with the with the gold. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the hairdryer to blow this out. Um, I still need, I still need a bit more white on these, some of those spots because I'm going to have that. It's going to... to sort of has to flow into the flow into the paint pillow.
Oh, that gold is really popping. Look at that. Just gold is popping out. So we can make it a bit bigger because it's not much, maybe not much going on here. It's too much, maybe too much negative space. We might could have another little arc there. Um, we could actually use a, a straw. Sometimes I get a bit too gung ho with my hair dryer and don't use the straw. even with your mouth. So it doesn't, it's a bit more gentle. It doesn't blow away or anything. Further hair dryer. Um, look at the, well, that looks great. And if we can stretch that out, it's possible to make that look even nicer. But we'll see how it goes. It might just not, might not so. mystical that's good um, I feel like I might just need something else here because there's nothing there somewhere and then we'll clean all this other stuff up here in a minute with the sort of the extra although it's nice to have that negative space too like just nothing there um, all that I like how that gold is mystically mystically going into the white with nothing else that's kind of cool sort of might blow it away if we blow all the gold away. Could possibly make a little hole for some more. And now it needs something to activate the cells in there. It just needs a small stuff of black. Of black. gold sort of flowing in there. Okay. Um, great. It's very gold. Like sometimes I do the gold and it doesn't really pop out as much as this. It just disappears. <laughs> the, gold can, the gold can disappear. So we also have this other, the next trick, which is your little heat machine. Fire, fire man. So this is going to make some cells pop out that weren't there before. Possibly, we've already used heat with the hair dryer, so just may make some more come out. That's pretty good. Getting the white cells coming out. So I think I'm pretty happy with this for now. I'm just going to clean up the white. So is where you just have to make sure you've got enough of the same mixed colour that you had, like, yeah, white can look different. Get rid of these. And then, basically just want to buff that all out. Use a hair dryer to blow that, blow that white out, and blow some white out onto here. Otherwise, the finished product just like doesn't look smooth. It just looks weird. 
So I like to cover it with a lot of more white here. I'm not going to blow the painting more. If I can help it, I'm just going to blow this right away. And actually, can maybe use. Smooth it out. Some of the pattern you need it sort of dripping right off because it kind of looks really cool when it's doing that. going with a little bit more blowing, blowing it out, so a tiny bit more just to get them sort of smooth. Um, I could just change my gloves I guess and use the gloves hands to smooth it out now. Um, I really don't want to risk this part of the pattern here because it's so nice. Uh, and I know other artists who do this who say oh that's too thick, <laughs> but I, I find if I don't if I don't make it this thick, like if I try to spread it out, it's you'll lose the beautifulness of it, and that's this is what I like. So I'm just going to come along and clean underneath here a little bit first, and then we'll smooth out. And we'll have some more white there. So just want to make sure all the all these bits are covered here. Some of this is going to just drip off anyway, so you can kind of just rub the edges and come back to that with. White, pure white. Um, maybe this bit here is a bit I'm not sure about. Um, I think that's okay if it was up this way. I just like I would like a bit more gold in here. I'm just gonna have to risk something else happening here. This is annoying how this thing keeps waving all this time. Center it up a bit. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more black here. layer up some black and gold. Remember the black is the, the cell activator and we've also got this purple cell activator the dark purple so I'm going to get a bit of that on there. That a little blow out.
bit of main thing. That's all right. It's still part of it. Um, just give that a blow with this and see what happens. I'm losing, losing gas. This is a lot stronger. The gas bottles finally run out. Had a lot of use that gas bottle. Anyway, yeah, so that's all right. That's good. This is probably just the bit, the naff bit, but we'll just see. Give it a second, see what happens. So it can just come out and have to change the gloves over. And clean that all with the right. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Here in My Studio, something a bit different. I'll usually make these little ones, um, sorry, I'll usually make them smaller for, for selling because it's very hard to post this size out. Um, Hard to post anything out <laughs> in Australia, uh, but I do have smaller ones that I'm making with to put on my website for fans who'd like some unique art. And I often use this as the art for my uh, single art, my album art, things like that. So my tear out the heart, tear out your heart album, I that was all um, made from this. And a lot of the songs that you see on Spotify, they've got this flow out there. That, I'm, that I've made this stuff. Okay, well, that's the thick one, the thin one. So now I'm just going to come along and okay, just clean, clean this up, spread this out just so that I can finish these bits with just the pure white. So I'm just trying not to touch the other colours. So I'm just going to get this done because this is actually way, way too thick and we need it. We just want it nice and do that before with my hands because that's all the colours are coming in. Part of what this makes this look amazing is you just got this sort of pure white. So sometimes with these white ones I have to do the edges a few times because they, as it dries, you want that, you've got that thicker layers here, and you need that thickness sort of just oozing over the edge to kind of make it nice and thick on the edges. Come on, do that. It's much more the boring part. I'm allowed to spin this around, but. Be very careful with these that they say level because the pattern can very easily just like literally fall off the oh, I don't need to put any more on that. And that's actually quite nice, it's kind of that creamy the gold and the black has kind of made this creamy, really royal. All kind of colouring there. Just getting rid of some of the excess paint. Just making sure this is nice and steady and smooth. There's not any weird little gaps in that. And the edges are all nice and done. And then you usually just come around the edges and just run your fingers underneath or scrap the scraper and scrape off the edges. That's how you do it, and that's turned out really beautifully. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed watching me make that. And uh, yeah, normally I do that while I'm watching some TV, or I'll have some um, podcast on, or listen to some music, and um, just chill out and just do, do these amazing, amazing things. I'm thinking about having an art exhibition, so this is why I thought I'll make some more of these big ones, and I might have an exhibition in Perth and. Uh, sell some of these things, have a little art show here, here at my studio. Um, I need to sell them to make room for all the new ones I want to make. And uh, 
yeah, make other people happy with putting this on their wall. So it'll be beautiful. I love these colours. It's just the gold just makes that pop. Like I did one recently on my wall. I'll put a picture of it up there so you can have a look for the Good Vibes show, which I didn't use gold in it. Um, and uh, so I used all these same colours, but the gold just like you could, and it's, what's great is you just can't tell exactly how it's going to turn out. Like they never, there's never any two the same, even though you try. I might try. I have tried to make the same again, but it's near on impossible. Part of it is just the whim of how it turns out. Awesome. Hope you've enjoyed watching that. And we'll see you again on another episode soon. <laughs> Something a bit different today.